Hey Cloud Gamers and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Stream Channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. Nvidia GeForce Now has been rolling out adaptive vSync across more and more games and this month we've had Destiny 2 as well as Rainbow Six Siege. So first we're going to have a look at Destiny 2. On the left we have the Google Chrome version here and on the right we have the PC app with the adaptive vSync. So we're going to have a look at two major aspects here. One is the quality and two is the feel and the latency. In the main mode, I did try and get these as close as possible in time of day. There's still some time of day effects here, but the coloration on the PC app is just slightly better, although there really isn't a lot in it, and quality-wise, the PC and Chrome versions are very close. As you can see here, as we look at the kind of floating pillar with the waterfall here, the quality is extremely close on both, and you can see that time of day is just slightly out on the PC app as the sun's peering over the top there. But moving around, we can see that the frames per second are somewhat higher on the PC app side. And I must admit that even in the kind of standard mode here, it did feel a bit more responsive. As we go full screen with the Chrome version, you can see that we're still getting high frame rates here. And if you look at the frames per second in the top here from the Steam overlay, we are getting 70 to 80 frames per second. As we switch over to the Adaptive V-Sync version, we're getting around the same frames per second, although it does bounce around a little bit more, but it just felt better. It's really hard to describe, but when you're actually using it, it just feels a lot more responsive. It's not as noticeable in the kind of general PVE realm, so we thought we'd have a look at the Crucible, as this is where the latency really comes into its own and you really want to have the best of your abilities. Especially when it comes to PvP, you're up against all other players, especially on PC, you're going to be against PC pros. And this is where you just see how easy the Twitch mechanics are on the adaptive vSync mode on the PC app. Again, it's quite hard to explain, but moving around in the Chrome version, it's still nice, it still works very well, but it didn't quite feel right. Most of the time, you got used to it and it's okay but when you're switching between the chrome and the pc app version you do notice quite a difference as playing on the pc app version with that adaptive vsync the latency is gone it does feel like it's a native pc and you will also notice that these are running at 1440p and this is my monitor resolution so instead of shrinking it down or changing my monitor res i do keep it running at 1440p so not only is the quality getting much better on GeForce now for even running at slightly higher resolutions, that adaptive vSync really negates any input latency across the internet. Unfortunately, that doesn't account for my poor shooting, as Crucible is quite relentless. However, I did get more kills on the PC app version than I did on Chrome. So although it didn't feel much different, it definitely made some difference. So moving over, let's have a look at Rainbow Six Siege. Now this is where I felt the biggest difference to be honest. And again you can see on the Chrome version here, the frames per second don't seem as high and moving around does seem a little bit more jerky than it does on the PC app. However, playing this on the PC app has made me dive back into Rainbow Six Siege again. As it is just so smooth on the PC app with the V-Sync, it felt better than it has on my own PC. I can't explain it and I don't understand why. But the ping that I also get in game is around 9 to 13 milliseconds. So having that adaptive vSync to bring down my latency between this and GeForce now has massively improved the ping that I get in game as well. You can see in Chrome it's still responsive enough and I was able to get some kills. And the quality of the stream is still extremely high. I have been very impressed with the GeForce Now quality on both Chrome and PC app recently. It does continuously seem to be improving. And although I thought I had the jump on him there, I didn't quite manage it. Now as we move over to the PC app, you'll see it feels like it's got a bit more jerkiness, but if you look at the frames per second, it's over 140 frames per second here. And I did get the jump on this guy. So the stream can only record at 60 frames per second, so it is a lot smoother than it looks here. And moving around, as I said, on the PC app version, it's just so nice. See, look how accurate that was. 
no twitch movements there at all, it was just exactly where I aimed. And as we come back side by side, we'll see those twitch movements a little bit more. Again, the Chrome version feels a little bit more jerky, but it's still more than playable. And overall, it just works fantastically. I would suggest that if you are going to be playing any of the first person shooters, that you do go for the PC app with the adaptive vSync for supported games over the Chrome version. However, the Chrome version is still the most convenient. So if you are playing on any device or you just want to hop on and play something, Chrome version is still a great way to play. Let us know if you have tried any of the adaptive vSync games. I will drop a list in the description below for all of the known games so far. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming. And we will see you next time.